Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Golftopia with our Lost Links playthrough and uh, I see there is a little new patch out there. A minor update, but let's take a quick look what is in there. Uh, lights can now be built on water. Yay, this is awesome. This is one of the things that uh, very recently uh, I was talking about. Um, max device attractiveness increased by 25%. I have not dealt with that myself just yet. Slightly increased the shot distance of curveballs and backspins. Okay, that's something we've been talking about. Indeed, that's quite important um, for the sake of realism. I'm looking forward to trying those out and see if uh, they are behaving as I would expect from a realism point of view. Uh, improved overlay visibility at edge, uh, map's edge. Excellent, excellent stuff. That is, uh, that should make the overlays a lot more useful when you're hunting the weeds at the edges of the map. Uh, cleaner radius effect when shooting with the manager. Uh, that will be interesting to see once we are playing our course. Uh, fixed interface update delay when using sliders, buttons and hotkeys. Yes, for that. That made the UI, despite it being very functional, uh, qu feeling very clunky for no good reason. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to that delay being gone and it feeling crisp. It's so important, that feedback, that instant feedback. It's something that uh, it is always taken for granted. And once it's missing that crispness, that instant feedback, you really feel it. And it's like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? So, um, underrated for sure. Uh, then we have another one here. Fixed putting, putting green and driving range overriding golf is basic needs. Okay, we've not run into that because we still need to build those facilities. And then fixed backwards days until tournament bar. Interesting, yes, that is what we have talked about as well. So, um, excellent stuff. Let's get into it and continue our design of hole number 18 because we are right here ah oh, number 17 what a hole it is <laughs> let's take another look so last episode we designed number 16 uh, we have the 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 little ridge thing going on here you are supposed to f hit a fade and then slide it down this ridge and try to tuck in to the right here if you can and from there Hit, you have a nice clean shot into an elevated green. Uh, you want to land on the upper tier uh, or land it in the ridge itself and roll to the upper tier. But it's still a very long shot in uh, from there, comparatively. Like if you hit a massive drive, then it's a mid iron. But um, yeah, it's um, a long, very long par four. Hole number 17. Ah, beautiful little, little gap we found here through the vegetation which I didn't put there, but already was there. That is such a daunting looking hole. You barely see any fairway there, do you? It's just this little sliver. And then you, if you probably also, eh, you can hit it straight or fade, but then there are those ridges down here to the different plateaus. You want to have your ball end up on the lowest one so that you have a short-ish shot into the green, which you probably want to land on the lowest tier have it run out to the uh, first ridge, which is right behind the hole, and then have it poodle back down and settle right close to the hole. And now we are taking on hole number 18, another spectacular hole to finish it all off. So this is going to be our little tee box here. I think something like this is just fine, just slightly elevated, doesn't need to be ultra spectacular. Uh, it, I mean, the lake is <laughs> already lake, but it's connected to this will probably be quite salty. Yes, um, as soon as oh, can you actually play this when the tide is up? <laughs> uh, probably not, but uh, yes. So let's see, where do we want to head with this? I think where these trees are, the fairway needs to start and these rocks can be there and guard the dog leg. Um, that is quite far though. Let's uh, sign off on this little change of height and see how far it is from there. Yeah, that's 250 to, to there already. Okay, that will be a long drive, long straight one. But uh, you can cross it. If we cross it right here, it's just 180. 
So that's doable. Like 160 to there. From an elevated point of, uh, of shooting in, that is not an issue to carry for most people. Um, <laughs> forward tees will be quite difficult to do in this one. But yeah, uh, we're, we're taking it. Every golfer so far is uh, equally capable in here. I hope that will change so we would have to adjust the, the course. But um, yeah, yeah, eventually, eventually. So let's remove a little bit of foliage that is in the way. And then I think I do want to get rid of those. I can replace something else. Maybe want to um, have the fairway start a little earlier because of those short hitters. All right, let's just double check this one. So now we have, yeah, that's that's very fair. 150 to carry, that is a no issue shot. So we're starting out by, of course, setting down the tee box. And that one goes right there. Okay, let's have another look. So we are at 250 there exactly. This is bunker end, if we would place a bunker there, is at 280. So no one in this game at the moment is getting over there without some uh, prob high probability of shooting in there. Um, what we could do is... Oh, do we want to do that? Do we want to hang hang in here at the water? Or do we want to go inland a bit? I think it's inlands for this one to here and then loop upwards to the clubhouse and then have a nice big green here for the 18th uh, as a finish. Mm, okay, yes. Okay, how does that look? That will be a quite quite a long one, but just 600 yards. So if we make that a par five, that should be fine. Um, yeah, I believe that is a good one. Let's um, do a pretty big, spectacular green to uh, to end it off. And that one, 626. That is a long haul, but we just came from a pretty short par 4. So that is interesting. Split fairway, I'm going to think of something to do here. Kind of loops us back to uh, the dick bunker. I'm not going to do an even more massive dick in here. Or am I? Nah, nah. Let's 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 keep it. Uh, what is it? PG thirteen or whatever you Americans have to call it. Uh, yeah, I, I don't care about those ratings. But uh, so we do put a little bit more green around here. What shape do we want it to to take? Um, this little edge of the fairway kind of tells me that we probably want to put in something there that is. Oh yeah, at this distance, ah, you really want to be. If you're, if you're very aggressive and you've played a good drive and a good second carry shot mid, mid fairway, then you should have a short iron in. Um, so, or the real pros would have maximum a wedge in. Um, so, how about having a water hazard here, or is that a little too frustrating for the end hole? I think it might be considering the game mechanics because you do want people to leave your course with uh, happy, happy joy tears, right? Not, not the bad crocodile ones. And that means that uh, we probably want this not to be water, but rather a big sand trap. That's something that we have not had outside of the dick bunker much. So let's hug one in there along the side of the fairway this is looking pretty good and now we build the green around it okay so far so good uh, now we somehow need to figure out how to get over there how how do we get people over there uh, transport tubes yes yes we need to connect this area anyway so why not now I'm just going around and, as per usual, placing a little bit of the cut rough. And that is what I always do for these. Start off with the tee box, looking nice. Still, do I? No, I don't need to flatten that anymore. That should be all right as is. This um, edge is getting all roughed in. Uh, not the nasty long weed rough, but uh, the, the shorter stuff. 
this should be looking nice. Okay, we're getting around, all around here. Yeah, that's looking nice. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is to actually have a um, deep rough hazard, a wild rough hazard, and that will be a ditch. So let's just paint around here. I still need to connect the fairway to the green so that there's no actual rough in between. All right, now we, of course, need to manually set this one to par 5. And that is there, except that. Okay, so now let's continue. Where where do we get people over the pond? Do we um, make this uh, the land bridge, some laguni style thing here again? Maybe, I mean, we could. Let's Let's try that out. I think it's nice to have a little beach walk over there. Otherwise, we need to have a stop of the transtube system right there. Or right there. Well, we could do that. We could have that. Uh, okay, let's build the, the tube system there first. Um, because that is going to affect what we can do here. So, and we do have the cache, of course. So that's uh, a non-issue. Um, if we build there, extend from connection, there we go. This is so much more intuitive now than it was before. And there we go. Yeah, we can have a station right there. And now let's see. Uh, da, 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 change height, snap, rotate. Rotate is E and Q. Okay, can we go that way? Yes, we can. Okay, and this is really the max distance we can go. So that is what we are going to do. And then we're going to swing it around like that and have the connector right there. Can we go like this? Yes. Yes, we can. And then we just need to flatten it afterwards. That should be a non-issue too. Is that fine there? Let's build it there. Okay. So this problem is solved. Oh, and I quite like the idea of building one to here as well from over there. So that we have an easier time of servicing number 16. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And number 14 as well. Oh, that's very far off. Oh, no, it's closer to this one. We could connect them. Somehow. Nah, there's too much garbage in the way. Let's keep it like this. This is a little bit awkward here, but yeah. Uh, we can connect that up. Yeah, how about building one right there? That is not in the way. So let's do it. Yes, good stuff. If they're thirsty there, then we can have a little drink machine here too. Right there to be serviceable. Oh yeah, they are quite thirsty at this point. Alright, I'm also going to place a drink and snack machine over here at the start of 16th. Because that is potentially doubling up with number 10. And if I place some more ground there, some pathing, pathing, then that should be also a preferred way to go for these guys. Even though they are probably now going to hate me for it. Yes, yes they are. They love it. There's construction nearby. Ah, ha, ha. My sensibilities have been hurt. Alright, let's see what these guys are now doing. Uh, Elizabeth, uh, you've hit over there again. And play the awkwardly weird shot that is buggy uh, AI, but Richard has always said he's going to take a look at this hole specifically, what's going on here if they when they're landing too far, and kind of trying to shoot to some kind of waypoint or something there. I have no idea what's going on. But yeah, they're enjoying the hole regardless. And now let's take a look. First, fatigue. And yeah, lots of first. So it's good stuff that we have all that here. That should keep them alive. All right, I'm quite happy with this setup. Now we just need to have a bench over here. And I think from here on out, I can continue designing hole number 18 because all of this is now, the transport system is now in place. Um, seems to be working. A little bit of a web going on. Not the most efficient, of course, but yeah, it's workable. Oh man, this is feeling so much better. Look at this instant feedback of the UI. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like it's working for the first time. Look at that. The numbers change instantaneously. <laughs> That's really nice. I love it. Uh, it's such a simple thing. But 
it makes such a difference. So what I'm planning on here is to start elevating this area and then have a ditch run across here with the deeper rough inside. So I'm going to do, start to do that now. Um, we can go along here. There we go. There we have something that looks very ditchy. This was so hard before to like fine tune this one. Um, one thing I still would like to have happen here, and it is currently not, is the functionality to when you are above a slider and you're using your mouse wheel for that to increment in the smallest step size you have available. So in this case 0.1, in this case 1. So that if I zoom in, so to say here, that it's actually increasing uh, that one. It's That would be quite handy. Oh, another thing that I just noticed is with the paint strength. I believe what is happening is the following. And that is that when you're clicking, the, si the step size, the increment in height, or, well, the decrease in height, if you're going down, is calculated as the difference between the target height and the current height times the paint strength. Um, times some kind of fudge factor, maybe a second of holding, something like this. And I think that needs to be capped because what I'm noticing here is that as soon as this is a little high, a little bit off, like a click is a massive change and even at small strength and that's not supposed to to happen like the strength should really be that you can small scale adjust things right um and yeah i get how do you i get the problem though well how do you make it such that you still can do something crazy like paint a mountain like real quick and that would kind of be difficult in that instance maybe tie it more to the paint strength that the higher the slider for paint strength is set the um the less the threshold or the the limiter is in effect so that when it's set really high then is no limiter to how quickly it goes while when it's pretty low set then it can only pre um, go a maximum of like a height difference of uh, 0.1 per whatever right um, because this is not feeling quite right when I'm working on terrain like here and I've set it to a certain height that I want to work on and then I'm going lower and lower and with the, without changing the settings it does things differently down here compared to here that feels odd but anyway let's continue on so I'm what I'm going to do here is to slowly increase the height. It's currently a little wobbly because of the st the strength of the paint. Um, and going up, going up, going up. And then there's the ditch. And then the other side is going up again. Oh, this is elevated. So just to make it look a little bit more interesting. Okay, now just some smoothing required. Paint strength down. Let's do it very very smooth like this yes yes uh, looking good looking good uh, do some a little bit there okay I think that it's looking solid Ooh, 169 yes yeah, so let's have a look at the general lie of the land though I think this might be a little too nasty with it bouncing this way so I'm just going to have to check that if it's actually doing that oh yeah 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 Th this is a little too much so let's flatten it out there. Let's give a bit of more safe landing zone. I mean, the landing zone is small enough already. You don't have to punish them further, do you? Oh, here it's quite hard to see that sensation of the ditch going there. It's unfortunate. I think if I use the same uh, texture, it would be more apparent. But here it currently isn't. Maybe that's because it's a little too smooth. Let's fix that. Oh yeah, now it's a lot more apparent that there's uh, something going on there. Um, only thing that I need to make sure is that there is a path that is not quite that steep. So let's smoothen this out a little bit. There we go. 
Yes, okay, that should be enough. I think I want the fairway to come slightly closer to the bunker here. And be slightly wider. Just a little bit more leeway there for the golfer. Because this is going to be tough regardless. And I'm feeling this side is a little empty. There's no real hazard there. So let's be a cheeky, cheeky monkey. And yeah, well, first off, let's connect these. Something like this. This is looking awful. Awful. I need to correct that. Much better. Okay. Um, how about... Well, let's have, let's have a think here. Um, or rather, a measure. Dick measurement. Let's uh, go ahead with that. Uh, so, if you land in the perfect spot here, then a 200 carry shot, 220 is what you would be going for. So, if we place at like 190 or something in the side, roll out 210, yeah, somewhere here, a bunker. That will certainly make it such that you will think twice about going that aggressive and maybe aim for the 160 area. And from here, you have a 180 shot into the green. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, yeah, that's pretty tough. Uh, let's do that. That's a long par 5. All right. That is better then. Yes, and then on the approach, whatever shape it takes, there's this massive bunker to the right. Slice Warden. Ah, and I know what we do. <laughs> we are going to place... Oh, what is this? Orbital power... All oh, right, this is all those special items. Um, what we are going to place down there is the inspiring figurine, maybe. Because that encompasses quite a bit of this one. There's, yeah, we don't have anything in this area of the course. And this would... Yeah, even hole number 9, hole number 10, 14, 15, 18, 16, and not quite over there, number 12. Uh, but even here, number 3, yeah, this is pretty good. And the and also number 7, the green of number 7. So let's place it down here. I think that's pretty good. Uh, can we rotate that? That would be... E and Q. There we go. What? <clears throat> How do we want it to uh, to look? Let's see. This one. This looks like an orc time time trying to swing it. Uh, not so sure. Not so sure. But yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? So let's place it there. Yay! It's a hologram anyway. Oh yes, I know what we are doing. For the green, on the side, we're going to add a bit of a slope here, so that stray shots are bouncing in, and this whole general area can be a little like that. Behind the bunker, the ridge is coming up. Okay. Oh, yeah, here's the effect of the way too quick, despite the low paint strength. Um, brush. Let's see. Here's really slow, as you see. Um, okay. So this is pretty good. Pretty good. I do want to go a little higher, though. Okay. Another 80 bucks down the drain. Well spent, though. There's a little hairy hill. Yeah, beautiful. Well, let's have a quick look what this looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's quite nice. This is spec... Oh, this, fe this looks really difficult. Like, okay, yeah, you, you're just going to hit this... There's a little uphill shot from here, and uh, you have this snaking falling off to every side fairway with a massive bunker right there towards the green and sloping green as well. What do we do for the green slope? This is looking quite interesting as is, by the way. Um, so I think the slope is is good on the green, but I think we can help it out a little bit more with some tears uh, or minor, very, very minor tiers let's uh let's see current size yeah this is good go up a little we can have something like this that it's higher here and then lower towards the 
this portion of the green so that there's actually just two tiers. Oh, not read. Yeah, tiers, kind of tiers. A ridge running across. And this is on the low part. And now the last bit. Light. Um, light. We need to place some light. Decorations. There we have the light. Definitely going to go on this side. That seems to be where they are going to hit. So we place it there. That's nice. We have light down there. That's good. And uh, now this one will be a little awkward because there's not really a spot for us to place it. Um, maybe above the bunker? Because the green is already covered. We don't have to do anything there. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone will be hitting it there exactly on the edge. So if we place it right above the bunker there, that should cover most things. It even covers a little bit of this this hole too. Okay, I think we are done here. So let's activate the test shots and let's see them fly. Ooh, uh, ooh, I, oh, uh, oh, that is that is rough. Oh man, oh man. Oh, someone went onto the green with the... Holy shit, with the second shot? That was a proper long hitter. And... Average score of 4.9. It wasn't that bad then. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Let's uh, go again. 4.9, that seems very good for a difficult hole like this. And... Uh, yeah, they're going for it. They're really going for it. And now... Yes! Oh, falling balls? Oh, what what is what is that one? 4.6 even. Holy shit, yeah, that this is playing easy. <laughs> okay, good. Par par 6 my ass. This is not even a par 5. Maybe we should make this a 600 something yard par 4. Uh, no, of course not. What we should have though is a little bit of decoration around here as we do have the hub here anyway for the servicing. Um, oh, okay. That's a weird color for it. Um, let's keep it... What was our base color we have everything in? Is it orange? Are these orange? Or are these red? Are there some kind of red? Yeah. There we go. I do want a place such that... Ah, they are probably not going to slice it in there, are they? <laughs> uh, never... Never ask golfers that, because they are going to oblige and do exactly that. Uh, I think they can... Can they walk on paths that are just one square? Or do they need at least two squares? I think I'm going to up this one, just to be sure. Yeah, okay, that one will be nice there. Uh, now we need a little bit of path connecting these, and then our course is almost done. Well, there's, it's never done, but... Um, it is where we want it to be for the start of having it completed 18, ho 18 holes. This is looking good. I think what we're going to do is open it up. And that is hole number 18. Now, let's see about the change of play golf and play a specific hole. Excellent. Ah, and then just a list. Perfect. Very easy. Very easy. So 16. Let's play number 16. Dr. Manager on the tee. Oh, he's chatting them up. Oh, that's nice. Ah, okay. He now has a radius. Ah, interesting. Okay. Yeah, you can see his shot radius like this. Huh. Yeah, okay. Uh, was that there before? I've never seen it. Maybe it was... That was uh, why I was saying the... Um, that the... It made the radius clearer. Yeah, I think it was there. I think there, there was kind of a shimmer there. Okay, but now let's see. Draw. Okay, 214 instead of... Uh, 253, still quite short. Fade, the same. Okay, so they're not different. I would I would make them quite, quite different. Only proper pros know how to play uh, fades without losing distance. Um... Backspin shot is shorter. That's fine. And yeah, okay. So that's a, a, a nuance change. I would go quite a bit more brutal on that and just say that outright. The um, 
The fade goes somewhere between the medium loft and high loft, plus its curve. And the draw type goes somewhere between low loft and medium loft uh, with its curve. And let's play the fade. And oh, that's not a fade, really. It's a proper slice, but it's looking good. Okay, let's go there. Whee! Yes! Oh, what? Holy shit, what was that? How did he get there? Oh my god, that was a lot. How far was that? Um, can we can we stop this, please? Can I please measure? Can I can I measure, please? Is this? Oh no, this changes radius. Oh, there. Okay, now I can measure. There. That was 260 yards, 265 yards, on the curved trajectory with the fade shot. That was far. Okay, now we have a really nice shot in here. All right, Dr. Manager is shooting. Uh, iron is not within range. That is the, something that I think needs to be addressed. The The gapping is just off for, for those. Uh, let's see. Medium loft, high loft. So we are going to be able to shoot right there. And I think I'm going to aim about about here. High loft the club. Go not to the not onto the rock. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Um, we need to lob it over here. Can we? Is the question. Uh, that is not looking like it necessarily. Let's just double check. Well, it's saying red everywhere, so can't really trust it. No, no, this this rock is a little too high for point. So we got to play it out to the side. Um, let's play to here. That should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Good. So now we still have the chance for par. That's a long putt, though. And nope. Didn't quite make it. Bogey. We got a bogey. Ouch. Ah, and he's automatically continuing to hole number 17? Or no? Okay, perfect. So playing a specific hole is actually exactly playing a specific hole, which is good. Play, 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 playing a specific hole, number 17, please. Okay, here we go. So what do we want to do here? Medium loft drive to somewhere there. Maybe just choose a a wood, uh, like a five wood or something. Play it there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, that was exactly right. That's a very nice angle in now. Oh, and this is this is pretty cool. So we do want to land it pretty sh close to the to the hole because the ridge is going to stop the ball anyway. So we can be pretty aggressive and go straight at it with medium loft iron. We don't have much skill in that, but uh, we need to get that at some point. Oh, yeah, don't have any skill. No, that's a terrible lie. Oh, man. Okay, out of the weed rough. Uh, play a nice little wedge. Uh, you don't get any backspin from there, but that's another story. So let's play it there. And whoop! Yes! Nice! Par! And play a specific hole, number 18. And here we are already. So, where do we aim this thing? Uh, medium loft, do we go low, low loft for this one? And just try to hammer it out there. Somewhere there. Yeah, let's go. Hammer it! Ooh! Oh no! Where am I? Oh shit, behind the light somewhere. Shooting from here is brutal. Ian's freaking out. Yeah. That is true. Shooting from there is brutal. But why are you there, mate? Um, mood minus 100. Can, is he actually freaking out so much that we need to calm him down a little? Yeah, okay. So now he's not minus 100 anymore. He's leaving. He was only a, a silver member anyway, I guess. Uh, was he? I think so. Yeah, so no, no loss there. All right, Dr. Manager. 
what do we do with you? Oh, this is terrible. How do we even get you out of there? Uh, I think I'm going to try and hook around a shot to somewhere there. With an iron, yes. So, draw, backspin, no. Um, I do want to have that, yes. Something along those lines. Let's try. Yeah, that was exactly the way I wanted it. Now we are in a prime position to actually get there in three. So let's uh, drive this thing low and just aim for the hill in the background. It will be fine. And what can possibly go wrong? So high lofted one right to the hole. Let's see what happens. Up, oh, come down. Up, oh, up. Oh, yep. Okay. Whew. And up. Oh, yes. Whew. Was that a par? I, I believe it was. Oh, yeah, exactly. One to there, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that was the, the scrappiest par ever. Anyway, I'm really happy with how the, the course plays at the moment. It is very tough, and we're probably going to fine-tune it a bit more. But I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time.